Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, have a blessed and wonderful morning. Everyone will come to Spiritual Blog for Jesus. So right here, once again, I'm Pastor Edison Haujan. So today we will be uh, continue learning the Word of God. And actually this is just a continuation of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I really love teaching about the Holy Spirit. And one thing I know that every believer should know about the Holy Spirit because apart from Him, it's really hard to understand more about God and about the realm of God, about the, mis the mystery of the Word of God. Therefore, we need the Holy Spirit to enlighten our hearts and mind and to empower us, enable us to understand and of course to give us wisdom and understanding. Now in here in the first Corinthians chapter two, beginning in 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 verse verse ten, but God has revealed it to us by his spirit. And the spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the man's spirit? within him in the same way no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God we have not received the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from God that we may understand what God has freely given to us praise the Lord father in Jesus name Thank you, Lord. Once again, we come before you and we just thank you, God, that through your words, we will be able to understand, Lord, and be able, oh God, to, to know the, 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 the spirit realm, the power of the word, and the power of the kingdom. But Lord, all these things is by your Holy Spirit, that your spirit, Lord, will, will bring to reveal unto us, oh God so that we will be able to understand, O oh God, the things of heaven. We bless you, Lord, and bless all my brethren and all who are watching this video. I declare, Lord, your glory will come down upon us all. We bless you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. Now, what I'm trying to say here is that why we need the Holy Spirit because he is the one who knows everything. In fact, according to the, to the word of God, as what we read here, that the spirit, hallelujah, he knows even the deep things of God. Even the deep things of God. Praise the Lord. In verse 10, we, but, but God has revealed it to us by his spirit. The spirit searches all things now try to imagine why we need the holy spirit this is one of the ministry of the holy spirit he searches everything he searches everything he will deal each and every believers as long as you are the believers you are the church because the true church is the person who believe jesus you become a church of God, as the Bible says, we are the temple, will the church. The moment you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, automatically, you are the church. You are the temple. That means the Holy Spirit is living in you. The Holy Spirit is the one who will minister unto you because you are the church. The Holy Spirit, the one who will minister unto us. He is the one. He is the right one who will minister unto us as a temple, as a church. He is the one. He is sent by God. And the good thing here is that the Spirit of God, the one who will rebuild, the one who knows everything, even the deep things of God, of course, because He is the Spirit of God. He is sent by God in the, the name of Jesus. The reason why, the purpose is that 
we will be able to continue the ministry of Jesus. Why God sent the Spirit? In order that the words of the Lord Jesus Christ here on earth will be continued. In order for us to conquer the world. In order for us to fulfill the will of the Father. Praise the Lord. The Lord. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. Now try to imagine why we need the Holy Spirit. Why we need to understand His ministry. Because He is the only one who knows everything. Even the thoughts of God. All the plans of God. And it is the Holy Spirit, the one who will... Uh, the, the one who will uh, perform the plans of God for your life. Because no one knows all those things that God has prepared to those who love Him. Praise God. What God has prepared for those who love Him. That means God has something prepared for those who love Him. And no one knows it. No one except by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will reveal and to us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And there are many ways that the Holy Spirit is going to reveal and to us, even in the dreams, even in a vision, and even, even in, you know, we can even see an open vision. God is going to reveal unto us. And in that way, we can pray more. Because we will pray for the things that we have seen. The things that we have understood. We have to pray for that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For who among men knows the thoughts of man except the man's spirit within him? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. We have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we may understand what God has freely given. This is this is really, really incredible. Why? God wants to give us everything freely. It is freely. Why? Because we are His children. The Bible says we are hearers according to the promise. We are hearers and we have given the right to be the child of God. If you are the child that means you have the rights of everything of what God had. We have the right. Praise the Lord. And why God sent the Holy Spirit to minister unto us? Because the Holy Spirit will teach us all things. The Holy Spirit will reveal the things of the heaven, the things of God, for us to be able to understand and even know who God, who is really God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We does not receive the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God. From God, that we may understand what God has freely given to us. Praise the Lord. This is what we speak, not in words, thoughts, as by human wisdom, but in words taught by the spirit, ex expressing spiritual truths, in spiritual words. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is by the Holy Spirit. It is by the Holy Spirit. We are taught by the Holy Spirit. So the moment we are hunger of God, hunger of His Word, believing His Spirit, the Holy Spirit Himself will take over because He is the one who will minister unto us as a church, we are the temple. So the only right one who will minister on us is not the spirit of this world. Is not the devil. Is not the demons. Is not a false prophet. Is not a false teachers. But the spirit of God. Only the Holy Spirit of God. Why? Because He is the one who knows the thoughts of God. He is the one who will reveal all the things that God has prepared and all the things of heaven. It is the Holy Spirit. He is the one who will express the words of truth. 
the word of truth and all spiritual words. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The man without the spirit does not accept the things that come from the spirit of God. For they are foolishness to him and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. Praise the Lord. What the Bible says, the man without the spirit does not accept the things that comes from the Spirit of God. Now, here's one thing that I understood. Because the moment you receive Jesus Christ and committed to serve Him, we have Spirit. And this Spirit that we have, actually we are Spirit possessed by the soul living in this body. And this Spirit that we have, God wants this Spirit to be revived. God wants the Spirit to be empowered in what way? Through the Spirit of God. Because this Spirit is the one who will worship God. Our Spirit. The moment your Spirit is revived, the moment your Spirit is empowered, filled with the Spirit of God, and this Spirit, so if our Spirit is revived, empowered, filled by the Spirit of God, and the Spirit of truth, that means we have the Spirit of God. We can have the Spirit of God. The man without the Spirit does not accept the things that comes from God, for they are foolishness to Him. Hallelujah. If your Spirit would not be revived, you know, even the message of the cross could be foolishness unto you. You're not really convinced of what Jesus does, of what Jesus did at the cross. But when your spirit, and of course, when you believe with all your hearts, when you are surrendered to God, because we will be discerned by the Spirit of God. And of course, these things could be really vital unto us. And we embrace this truth, we embrace this word, because this is the Spirit truth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The spiritual man makes judgment about all things, but he himself is not subject to any man's judgment. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Praise the Lord. So, we need to have this truth in order to have the mind of God and we will become a spiritual man of God. We will understand the things of heaven. It is because of the Spirit of God. The one who will reveal unto us. The one who search us. The one who will teach us all things. So the ministry of the Holy Spirit is the revealer. He's the one who search all things. And he is the one who will demonstrate. He is the one to perform. Is the one who teaches us. So why we need the Holy Spirit? We need Him so much. We need Him more and more. Because He's the one who will minister unto us. As a church, as a temple, we need the Holy Spirit. Because without Him who will minister unto us, we will be nothing. We will be absolutely nothing. We will be defeated, but be defeated by this world, by all means of this world, by all schemes of this world. Therefore, we need the Spirit of God for us to become more victorious in our daily lives. God bless you and have a blessed day. Until next time, and uh, of course, I would like to ask your favor. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, Pastor Edison Ministry. Uh, Edison Haujan Ministry. God bless you and bye-bye.